Right, I'm going to make a start on this ABS pump. Um, this is going to be filmed over a few days. I'm working 60 hours this week. I'm just home now for my lunch break for an hour. So I'm going to make a start. So, um, yeah, let's go back through it. So we have the dreaded light. I'm just going to fire up Carista to show you what's going on with it. I just pause while this loads. Oh, no, no need to pause. Connect this up. Obviously, Carista is available subscription-free. The video on my channel, if you go back through my videos, so only back a few videos. Um, I've got OBD11 as well. Like I said, I might be giving away my OBD11 if I get 30, if I get 1,000 subscribers by the 31st of October. Anyway, right. Battery voltage is like this car hardly gets used. I think it's done about 4,000 miles this year as opposed to that. It's done 30,000. Right, diagnose. So yeah, this video, I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know how many days it's going to take me to do this because I've only got a short amount of time in breaks and stuff and I don't want to leave it all open. So today, I just want to get the battery out and get some WD-40 on the... Uh, connections right so abs fault there we go g103 g201 even try to reset it's come back so so we'll go around the front of the car get the uh battery out and oh i've got a ball belt up there oh something else is wrong get the battery out and make a bit of space get these lines um, WD 40 would up and then I see we've got this we'll try and see if they're loose but uh, right let's get started get around the front of the car right it's first job obviously ABS pump is down here we've got these one two three four five six lines to get off the top battery out make a bit more space 13 mil 10 mil this battery is gonna come out and go on charge um, while it's out of the car. So let's get some tools. We'll start with the 13, 13 mil, which we'll probably need the extension bar. Uh, 13, 13, 40, 15, 13. That's in there. Plug the extension in. Yep, 13 mil. Right, I'm going to pause this a minute while I get it all open. But yeah, 13 mil there, two tens, get the battery out. Right, so that's the battery out, but it also looks like I've got to take the air filter out of the way because that there is holding the battery box in place. So, uh, well, that's the 10 mil as well. Right. Obviously, you put your tools back where you get them from. 10 mil, come on. In fact, if I'm right, I've got two other bolts as well. Right, I'm not going to do this one handed, but you get the gist of what's coming out. I'll come back to you in a few minutes once this is all out. Right, so that's the airbox lifted. So you've got one uh, 5mm and key. And I've got another 10mm there. Another 10mm there. I think, if I remember rightly, when I lift this out the way, this should come unhooked from there, from past experience. So, what have we got? 10mm. Let's get this one out of the way. Again, can't do this one-handed. Right, that's the battery box and battery tray out of the way. Gives us better access to the ABS pump. Now, I can tell you already that this is gonna knack on my back. 
It's hurting already, I've only been bent over five minutes. Right, so yeah, there's the ABS. I'm gonna put a bit of WD-40 on all these joints. They don't look too bad. Hopefully they will just come open nice and easily. And then we've got the electrical connection to do, which is there at the back. Let's get some WD-40 on here. Ugh. There we go. WD-40 on. Now, this might be as far as I go for today. I've said WD-40 needs to soak in a bit. I'm gonna try and crack off some of these fittings, just see what happens. That one's... Ooh. That one's come loose. Let's try the next one. That one's come loose. It's all a bit promising, two out of six. Let's try this one. Nice. And this one, nice. Sorry, the camera moved. This one is that a different? Is that? I can't imagine they changed the size of them. Yeah, that's come loose. Last one. Last one. Sorry, my camera angle is not very good. spanner rather than that one which will make it a bit easier now that it's cracked open and just get my spanner see obviously when you're doing this job the same with brake any brake lines you want one of these brake line spanners rather than a normal 11 mil because of the shape of that so it stops the bolt from um getting chewed up so now i've cracked them off with that i can use this 11 mil just to fit on there as you can see they're all nice and I say you can see, you can't see because I'm waving my camera around all over the place, but they are all they are loose. Right. Jeez, I don't want to do this, but I've got to do it. That's as far as I can go for today. Because once I've cracked these lines off completely, we're gonna start getting fluid leaking. I think there's fluid leaking already. But um, yeah, I'm gonna leave you here for now. We'll come back and pick up when I carry on with the rest of the job. I've decided I'm gonna carry on. I've got about 35 minutes before I've got to get ready to go back out to work. I could do the shave as well. So yeah, I'm gonna crack these. I'll top that up out of the way. Get these all open and uh, then we'll see where we're at once they're all done. Right. Right, this bloody thing keeps getting in the way. They are now all undone and loose. Now some of you may have noticed this earlier on in the video, I've only I mentioned it. Obviously this pump has obviously been changed at some point in the past. We've got markings on all on all the pipes. But they can only go to one place anyway, so but they're marked up. Right, next up down so you can see the electrical connection here at the back now it should just be a case of lifting this up should just be a case um, oh. 
that's tight. Oh, there we go. Hand in there. Don't know how far up it's supposed to come. Um, before it comes undone, it might be that far. I don't know. Right, I'm going to try and get this pump out of the way and we'll see what's going on. And there's three grommets underneath, I think, that hold this in place. My other one didn't come with the frame. So um, let's uh, see what happens. Right, we are out. So here is the pump. Now I need to set this bottom plate off, transfer that onto that one. I also need to undo that T25, that T25, take this apart, put that module, uh, no, this module onto that pump. So that's the next job. All right, back in a mo. All right, so to get this off, it's got two 10 mils. I have removed one already because I thought I'd try and get it apart like that, but it didn't work. So let's just crack that. These are only short. Should really be wearing gloves because everything's covered in brake fluid. So that's that. So yeah, that's the uh, replacement. What numbers have we got on here? One six, I don't know, different numbers. Any dates, that's 379K. The one that's come off is 379K. But I'm keep, like I say, I'm keeping that module. It's just the pump that's knackered. Right, T25. T25 should be in there. It's not. I'm back in a minute. Right, so. Whether I can do this one handed, I'm not sure. Is that one loose? Anyway, you get the gist. I'll get this one off, get the other one off, and we'll transfer them over. Right, that's the T25s out. So, this. Am I going to need two hands for it? There we go. That slots out. We're keeping this bit. We're not keeping that bit. This one. We're not keeping this bit. We're keeping that bit. This one on. Um, that way. Long bolt this side, short bolt this side, and get those tightened up. Right, that's all transferred over, done up, put the plate across. I've now got visitors and I've got to get back to work, so we will continue this when we put it all back in there. And then we'll have to bleed the brakes, but yeah, not going too badly so far.